I love the way the Bonanza handles. One of the things I've been curious about is going upside down. Let's go upside down in this airplane. Of course, this is an F-33C, so we can go upside down in it legally. So stick with us on Flywire. We're going to do a loop today. Going to go upside down. Hi, I'm Scott Perdue, and uh, today on Flywire, uh, we're going to use the Eagle Flying Museum's uh, F-33C Bonanza, and we're going to go upside down. We're going to do a loop and uh, see how we do a loop in a Bonanza and see how it flies and see how it reacts and uh, how it preserves energy or doesn't, you know, all those kind of little things. We're going to play with it a little bit. So if you've ever been curious about how to do a loop in a Bonanza, don't try it at home unless you have one of these. This is an F-33C again. All right, so let's get to it. I've been for about 130. Take a little bit of a clearing turn here. We're going to set up and do the loop. Entry speed is going to be 167 knots, which happens to be the top of the green. If you're going to do an Immelman, it's 176 knots. Caveat that you pull very slowly. Anything over VA, you're going to pull pretty slowly. Um, but you can go up to 6 G, just can't snatch it. Plus 6 minus 3 are the, is the uh, G limits for the F-33 aerobatic bonanzas. A really fine handle an airplane. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, E loop. I've got a G meter here. I'll reference that sucker. We're going to start it off at 167 knots. We did our clearing turn, and I'm going to pull straight back, okay? I've noticed that I have a tendency, I'm used to doing aerobatics with a stick. This isn't a stick airplane, it's a yoke, so I'm putting bias and a little bit of aileron, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hold my hand light and then pull with my right hand on the center yoke. That's going to be my technique. So, off we go, let's get a little dive going. Get to our entry speed. There we go. Up on the vertical. Back off the G just a little bit. That's much better. And we enter at the tumble the heck out of the AI. But uh, about the same altitude we started at. That's the loop. It's pretty good. Got to use a bit of right rudder on the top of that thing to keep it going straight. And you correct the bank angle a little bit as you pitch it back over the front. You can see I'm looking out the left side, primarily on that. Just have it pattern. I got the camera set up on the right, but you know where? Because it interferes with me on the left. But that's what uh, what we're doing is uh, maintaining our orientation by looking out the left until we pitch over back and then I can look out the front of the windscreen uh, to see how everything's going. So that wasn't a bad loop. Uh, not sure how it would work out on air shows, but hey, what the hell. So just a quick run through again. What we do on that is uh, we get our entry speed. Uh, I'm starting off with a pretty good altitude. It's only taking about 300 feet to get an extra 20. I'm about 140, 145 knots uh, indicated. So 167 is what I need to start it with. So then I'm going to just dive a little bit to get my entry speed. And then I'm going to enter, and it's going to be a straight pull. I'm going to be light on my left hand, but I'm going to pull with my right on the uh, on the center section, and then that's going to uh, slow us, uh, or you know, it's going to. Uh, once I get to about 30 or 45 degrees, I'm going to stop looking out the front and I'm going to look out the left and I'm looking at the wingtip in relation to the horizon. A little hazy today, not, not too bad. And then uh, as we pitch it back, I'm going to use that for my orientation. And I'm going to have to use a, a pretty good amount of right rudder to keep it going straight in the loop, okay? So once I get over the top, about, uh, oh, about 30, 40 degrees past top, I'm now going to look out forward of the windshield and then I can put the rest of my dive and my recovery. And we ended up right at about the same entry uh, uh, altitude we started at. So there you have the loop in the uh, aerobatic bonanza. It's uh, 
Took about a thousand feet to work out, uh, 167 uh, knots for the entry, and I used a 3G pull. I used the center uh, pull uh, for the dual yoke because eh, I'm kind of used to using the stick, so it's a little bit different with the with the yoke. And what I found is is that I'm biasing a little bit of aileron when I'm pulling for the uh, loop, and that that messes it up. So I find it's easier just to kind of let it go a little bit and then pull pull the center, and that seems to work out work out much better. So we get our smash. We have to dive a little bit because the airplane will cruise at 145, but it won't. It won't cruise at uh, 167, the over-the-top speed. So we get that speed, then we hit three Gs, and we just maintain three Gs until right about here, right about when we're getting ready, almost totally vertical, and then we start relaxing. That maybe a little bit past vertical. We start relaxing the back pressure a little bit, looking off our left wing. We're orienting across the left wing, and uh, we keep uh, a gentle pull. Uh, because we can do an avalanche, we can do a snap roll up here. We don't want to do that. So, uh, um, watching that left wing for uh, you know for our orientation, you know we can figure out what our wings are doing. We can vary the rudder. We do have to use a fair amount of right rudder right here. It's that whole, whole torque and P factor effect uh, really plays a, a big part in this airplane. So we pull over the other side, and then once we get over on our backs, we can shift from looking at the left wing to uh, looking straight ahead, we pick up our, our reference line, whatever that is, and continue the pull. Again, we're looking for three Gs, boom, we level out, and it seemed like we used about a thousand feet of altitude, and uh, we're back to a pretty close to what our starting velocity was, which means we did a pretty good, pretty good loop. Uh, maybe not uh, perfect, but not too bad. So, if you'd like to learn how to do a loop in a Bonanza or get the experience of doing that, come on and check out the eagleflyingmuseum.org's website and uh, sign up. Let's go do it. Let's go flying. It's a lot of fun. And I think you'd enjoy it. It'd probably make you a better Bonanza pilot or a pilot in general. Doesn't matter. So thanks a lot for Flywire doing this and uh, uh, making this kind of a learning video for the EFM program. Um, and that's what it is really is uh, something for you to enjoy watching, but it's also a teaching tool for people that want to come learn how to do the uh, aileron roll, the loop, the split S, uh, you know, the, Cubanade, all those kind of things. So, if you liked it, thanks for watching. I appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button down there, and uh, you can also hit the bell for notifications. Uh, leave a comment for me because I, I, that's our forum, you know, that's where we get to talk, and uh, that's pretty cool. Or send me an email, doesn't matter. I appreciate that. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Flywire.